my name is Niamuda and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, this particular flyer was created by Joseph Shison. Yeah, you can check him on YouTube and follow his tutorials. Man is doing very, very great. All right, so we want to tweak this flyer and um, redesign it in another way. The size we're going to be using is 1080 by 1350 for the height. All right, so I'm going to just draw this like this yeah okay all right so i'm going to bring in um some of the things the elements all right it's called element right okay so um, the logo is this now uh, cool right so we can easily go to color enable it and change it to white very fine right all right so for the background we can use any kind of background right something that actually mix your um design to be pronounced all right so let's start let's use this all right this is just a color we can choose so we can click just reduce it okay now we can come here and click enable this sorry what i do i can just um go over here enable it go to color and just pick this color okay so we can do that right cool all right i have a, i want it to be brown okay so so it means we can delete this guy now all right now um what's the structure going to look like because we want to redesign this particular design what's it going to look like so for these you see i post over here and then the other information there so what i want to do right now is this all right i want to add an effect to the background so that the background doesn't look like it's just plain so i'm going to bring this back this uh this, this guy's here all right you see that it blends very well with the background all right so i'm going to drag it like this I'll drag it like this all right so i'll put it here okay See that now so what i'm gonna do right now is just to faint it so i'll go to opacity i'll just reduce it like this all right okay so the next thing i want to do now is to bring in this guy that is this background here all right so what we're going to do with this background is very very um simple now check the background very well and try to make the color align with the color on your screen um Alright, reduce this. So I'm just gonna reduce this so so. Alright, so so what I wanna do right now. Okay. Alright. Alright, so stitch drag here. Okay. All right. All right. So, see what I'm gonna do right now. Um, click on this. Bring this guy out. Now, yep. Okay. I'll bring this to the front. Um, I want to add uh, an outline. Yeah. Um, let's use this to create a background. All right. Bring this to the front. Okay. Alright, so where is the best position to add all the images so that they don't um, conflict with one another? Alright, so where do you add the images so that they don't conflict with one another? This one I'm going to do right now. So there are different ways to do that. So I can do this and click here. Alright, so this is a post zone. Alright. So it's going to be the set right here. Reduce it. Okay, just scrub it. Okay, reduce this. Let's the position it there. All right, so this is set my right. So the next thing you want to do is to consider the position of the other persons. All right, so I'm going to bring them here. So um, let's begin with this.
now consider the size of their heads all right so i'm bringing this here just scrub on place all right don't forget to subscribe now the size of the head remember so increase crop all right and complete it there all right so like that then let's fix this other ones seven minutes is done so this is the down all right so consider the size of their heads all right so they be done here and uh, um this guy okay okay or this okay cool so it's gonna be there all right so i bring i'll bring um this to the front or right, the front okay i'll bring okay i'll bring this guy to the front and this guy to the front and i'll pass so to the front like this all right so um if the arrangement is okay then let's go to the edit and let's try to increase this a little then go over to saturation increase this a little all right this looks dull so i come over here and just do this all right just brighten it up a little all right then this you can just do this all right so i fixed that so see what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna bring in i'm gonna bring in this torn paper um that is dotted like this i'm gonna drag it i'm gonna drag it like this so either i use it like this or better still okay so we can do it like this so we'll come over here increase the brightness a little like this okay all right so then we can rotate it rotate like this all right so we have something like this right is that now so we have something like this so the next thing we want to do is to fix these other guys here so right here we can come over here and then click on this all right so i'm gonna add a shadow to it so the different kind of shadow you can have to it. so i want to try i want to try this okay so um, the best we're gonna use now is a white shadow so let's go over here all right so we'll click all right then we'll come over here also we'll enable this and let's let's try it and see all right uh you see that now okay so so what we have here is this come over here let's try to work on this a little you can lead me, you can lead me. okay so we can write in this a little so what we have now we we'll just come over here and then right here we'll just type in um it's, it's a worship experience okay so all right so when you are designing try as much as possible to use simple text i know that a lot of persons they want at uh, they want at aesthetic like they want the whole work to be looking um top notch everything um sanctimonious but the goal of design is functionality is that your design is serving the purpose for which you are creating it so let it let your words be as visible as possible all right all right some persons paint colors here use this font use that font every font you are using um you remember you're, you don't want to confuse your people the people that um, you are um designing for your audience your own local you don't want to confuse them you want them to see read at a glance the message that you are trying to pass remember the graphic design is visual communication so when you are communicating a message you want them to be able to see the message understand the message and flow with that message all right so that is it so this is this is what i'm doing right here so so koinonia blah 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 blah. so we can even put the logo here like this all right we can fix the logo here like this it's perfect all right with koinonia worship team blah 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 blah. so let us come here and just type out uh, koinonia worship team so i'll just type koinonia all right um worship team so you can see i'm using the same font all right for the purpose of repetition and continuity all right so you don't have to use 10 different fonts for one particular design you, 
you can still actually use a few fonts and still achieve your goal in design all right you can see the beauty of design coming out already even though we're not even uh, we're not done with the design yet okay so let's add this element all right so let's see where we can add it let's try to put it here all right okay all right so let's come over here let's do this let's brighten it up a little um brightness okay let's increase the brightness um this all right all right so that's that all right okay so um there is this keyboard that's also here all right so if you have you have been able to successfully put these old guys like this um it means that you're almost done with your design so i'm going to adjust this and put it right here um let's reduce it and i put it right here so anyhow you want to place it you do your own thing you are the designer so i want to put it like this i want to send it to the back back all right you can see it forms uh, something there but i can also send this guy to the back all right so that the keyboard will come out very well you can see that now so the next thing you want to do is to fix in the names of each of these uh, um persons that you have here these calibers of persons here which is going to be very very easy since you already put your structure and everything in place all right so so this name says uh, apostle joshua sema so i'm going to use this guy all right i'm going to change the color to um black no need for any and uh, drama so i'll just reduce it and I put it right here all right so these other guys they have their own name so but i'm not going to focus on fixing all their names because i don't even know all their names but yes you know the names as a client i've sent you the name so i'm just showing you this is a tutorial okay all right so i'm just going to reduce this sorry yeah yeah so i'm just going to put it right here all right so i'm going to bring this here so let's type apostle there all right so if it's happened like this what you do just click here all right if it was cutters like this don't panic click here then click on recover auto save then click this first one here and your work will go back to the last auto save all right if it doesn't still work still go again recover auto save click the second one you will definitely get it right all right are you seeing that now all right so i've succeeded in doing this so what i'm doing right now is that i am modeling the design so you will see the final result is totally different from the original design so you cannot judge me and say that i copied the design but you can actually say i drew inspiration from the original design so right now i'm trying to fix the address all right so this are your model design so instead of going and you see somebody's design and you copy it verbatim like word for word you are you do not change anything at all instead of doing that you can actually um, use this approach to get your designs done all right so if you do it like that yes you even like what, what you're seeing here right here now i even made use of the same um resources all right but the design is not coming like it's the same all right it's not coming like it's just exactly the same you can see that the difference is clear yeah i use the same resources but the design is this, this not the same not exactly the same all right so that's how you model designs all right so let's add a little shadow here just click here click here reduce this a little and then um just play with this all right come here then do this and take it down all right okay all right so that's it so and just to create a vacation here all right we can just come over here and uh, put this guy all right so i'm um, gonna use this mm, i think yeah, let's use something that is much more okay all right don't forget to like this video and uh, share it with a friend all right share with your friend so that um, you get to learn more i um, do more tutorials like this on this channel my name is niyamuda and i hope you got value all right you can see this is the end are you, are you seeing that now very very different from the original all right so let's go back now let me show you this this is the original i seen it this is the original and this is what we came up with you can see that it's quite different all right so don't forget to like this video share with a friend and i'll see you in another tutorial my name is niyamuda thank you for watching to the end to get the resources used ensure that you watch the video all right there is a password get the password put the password together and impute it in the link in the description you will get access to the resources thank you for watching